Buddhism is split between two major branches, Theravada and Mahayana. Theravada oh yeah, I've heard of this before. Theravada is the older of the two. It's also considered to be a bit more orthodox. Mm. They think of the Buddha as a more human figure. <gasps> there is a focus on using meditation as a way to reach enlightenment. Within Theravada Buddhism, there is a belief in three things. Nothing is permanent. Oh my god, another list. Nothing is permanent, life is suffering, and there is no self. Um, all three are wrong! <laughs> all three, your list sucks. All of your list sucks. Nothing is permanent. There are some things that are permanent, including time itself. Um, life is suffering. Life is not suffering. Life includes suffering. Life includes joy as well. Life and suffering are not the same thing. And there is no self. There is definitely a self. Okay? Self is the real thing. It's, you know, there's a definition for self, and that definition, that's, that's self. Life is suffering, and there is no self. There is a huge emphasis on monastic life and rebirth in Theravada Buddhism. Only monks can really reach enlightenment. Mahayana Buddhism, which means greater vehicle, is younger and considered to be more accessible to normal people. Okay, so this is like, you know what happened? I know what happened. So these people are like saying only monks could be enlightened. enlightened. And there's this new people came like, hmm, how, how can we, like, that, that's not marketable. We can't really cash in on that if, it's, if your religion is that exclusive. We need to, we want to become a world religion and we need to more customers. So let's like, you know, reduce the barriers for entry. Uh, Sajib saying Buddha seems depressed. <laughs> no, he's smiling. Look at him. He's smiling. It's called Greater Vehicle because it's supposed to allow more people to achieve Nirvana. Mahayana yeah. contains a lot of different schools, such as Zen, Tantra, and Pure Land Buddhism. Tantra sounds good. They believe that enlightenment can be reached in a single lifetime and that you don't need to be a monk to do it. And yeah, they say, like, guys, this is not going to sell well. Let's, like, drop the barriers a little bit. Uh, everybody, you don't need to be a monk to be enlightenment. And uh, you could get enlightenment within one lifetime, guys. One lifetime. Any any buyers? Any customers? Okay. Mahayana is the more religious of the two as well, and has things called bodhisattvas, which are people that have achieved enlightenment. Okay. First of all, here's here's an interesting thing. Okay. You see how in this older religion, older version of Buddhism, um, Buddha was mostly just a human, and in this more bigger, more popular, more modern one. He seems to be like a superhuman. It's kind of like what happened with Jesus, right? In the earlier Gospels uh, in the Bible, Jesus was like more human-like. And he was like, he had no idea that he was supposed to be crucified. And he was like, Father, why have you forsaken me? Like, he seemed like he had no idea what was happening. And he seemed to be very, like, yeah, very human. There were a lot of attributes that made him a lot more human-like. But in the future Gospels, he was like, yeah, this is all oh, cool. Don't worry. I'm going to become, I'm going to die. I'm going to become king in heaven. Mom, why are you even crying? This is all fine. This is part of my plan. Like, I'm going to be God. Like, and there's no mention of divinity in the earlier Gospels of Jesus. And then and in the later Gospels, all of a sudden, I'm like, yeah, I'm king in heaven. You know, you can't, yeah. You guys have no idea what's, what's going to happen to you guys. Um, so, um, yeah. So this is like, a religion starts and it's like, oh, it's a human, and then people are like, yeah, but we get a uh, human, like, mm, can we give him a, like a couple of superpowers and then make him like fly and stuff, or like make him? Jesus literally, they made him fly in some of the gospels that didn't make it to the, didn't get canonized, right? Like, can we make him like heal some people and maybe raise the dead, or like, I mean, these other these Roman guys, like they have gods and they, they have superpowers. We can't have like. Can we have this guy have superpowers? And so I, apparently they did the same thing with Buddha. Religious of the two as well, and has things called bodhisattvas, which are people that have achieved enlightenment but delay nirvana to help others do the same. There's also more emphasis on idols and godlike beings. Today, Buddhism is a religion of about 488 million people. Ah, uh, 488 million people! By the way, I don't know how much Thailand's Buddhism reflects Buddhism, but if it does, then Buddhism is extremely misogynist. I was in Thailand and I've recorded a lot of bull crap from Buddhism in Thailand, uh, and I will release it one day when I have enough support from you guys.
to be able to hire a whole bunch of other stuff, people to do a lot of these tasks so I could release all these videos that I have to re release. But yeah, my experience with Buddhism in Thailand was not at all good. I'm very disappointed. So very, yeah, bad. 7% of the world's population. Hold on, what's this happening? Mir Ali saying, if anyone no now chooses to leave behind their wife, what is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mir Ali saying, if anyone and now chooses to leave behind their wife and their young kids saying in search of enlightenment like buddha they will be regarded as stupid yeah exactly if somebody decides to do that today people are like yeah you, you're an idiot but apparently buddha there's an exception see the double standard is for all religious leaders what is this one it depends sex like pure land and do look like look at buddha as having superpowers and even a god whereas zen emphasizes the buddha was a human and even to mock him. Interesting. Wait, they mock him? That's pretty cool. A Buddha said women are sources of all sins. No way. Are you serious? Is that true? Didn't he have a wife? How did his wife feel about that? Guys, is that true? I need to review that if that's true. Nearly all of them live in the Asia Pacific region at about 98.7%. Every other region has fewer than 1% each. Buddhists, though, only make up about 12% of the Asia-Pacific population, and half of all Buddhists live within China. But there are large Buddhist communities across Asia, especially in Thailand, Burma, and Japan. 